Good morning once again. In Books Over Breakfast today, we're talking with a first-time Vermont author, Lloyd Richards, whose new book, Stone Maidens, is now available. Good morning, Lloyd. Good morning, Steve. And uh, tell us about the book, because this, this, uh, this is your first book, right? First published book, yes. Um, kind of grew out of uh, an interest I have in the genre, Stephen King, uh, Jeffrey Deaver, other thriller writers, and I just wondered, you know, whether I could do this or not. Not having ever, ever had any uh, creative writing published in the past, uh, I kind of took it one step at a time. And your background was fitting, too, though, because you were a lawyer for many years, and so that knowledge of the law must have came into play for this book. A little bit, it did. It's, uh, I don't focus so much on uh, uh, the law per se, but uh, uh, my interest is in, uh, my intrigue has always been the moral compass of a character, uh, how far a person will go, how, uh, and I explored that with my book, um, good, evil, right, wrong. Um, those are elements, at least for me as a new author, uh, I was interested in. Okay, and uh, you know, we said before it's a crime thriller, but quickly, without giving away too much, explain the plot to us uh, as much as you can without giving stuff right. away. Right. Um, the main character is a female uh, forensic scientist with the FBI who herself, in doing research uh, in New Guinea, uh, had a uh, terrifying uh, episode with uh, an attack, uh, which then seems to be repeating itself in this. Uh, murder, a uh, series of murders in southern Indiana uh, in terms of uh, the clues that are being left by the killer and it brings up for her uh, unresolved uh, fear that she carries with her that she has not shared with her co-workers uh, and that develops as the story unfolds. And for you Lloyd it was sort of as all authors do writing what you know uh, I know you'd mentioned in an interview that uh, the the main protagonist was actually based on an ex-girlfriend right? That's true. Um, I was an anthropology graduate student briefly before going to law school, and uh, this uh, individual that became my protagonist was uh, a very remarkable student in my class who went on and did become uh, a forensic anthropologist but at a medical center. And we stayed in touch, and I don't understand where uh, in the subconscious uh, character development occurs, but. With my protagonist, she just came to mind, and hmm. it stuck through the book. And being a first-time author, it must have been sort of, uh, it, it's difficult breaking into the book world, but you actually had sort of a, almost, uh, you had multiple publishing houses interested in, in publishing the book, right? Uh, ultimately, I did, but uh, it was an, uh, a pretty, uh, uh, like I think for a lot of writers who haven't published before, it was a difficult road, a lot of rejection first. But you're right. Uh, at the end, um, Amazon ultimately did get the contract, but there were two other traditional houses that were competing for it. And so as a first-time author, you're now having to create the sequel. Uh, are you finding that difficult? Uh, a little bit. Uh, I retired from the practice of law, so you would think that that would give me, uh, with full time uh, to devote to writing, uh, plenty of time to work on a sequel. But I think uh, once you've spent as many years uh, writing your first novel and um, now, uh, having to put on a different hat, the sure. marketing hat, to try to make sure that it does well. I've spent half my time doing that. Interesting. All right. Well, Lloyd Richards, thanks so much for joining us. We know the book is available on Amazon. It's called Stone Maidens. Really appreciating it. Really cool crime thriller, you guys. Uh, 